BPT5 is hours away. And in this video, I'm gonna tell you exactly what you can expect, how you're gonna be able to use this tool and what makes it different than GPT-40. So the last time ChatGPT came out with an entirely new model was in 2023, and that was with the 4 series. Now we did get the O series, but it was not a completely new model. It was a different style. It had reasoning to it. It was a different layer. And in GPT-5, what you can expect is to see a lot of these models unified. No longer you're gonna have to decide, should I use GPT-4.0, should I do 4.1, should I do 4.5, should I do 04, should I do 04 mini, should I do 04 mini high, should I do 03, should I do 03 pro? It's just, it's absurd. Um, but you know that's just part of the growing pains of this new technology and trying to figure it out, right? As we all know, O3 Pro is the best model in the world, and it takes a long time to answer questions. What I'm expecting from GPT-5, if not at the launch, at some point they'll roll out this update where you don't even have to choose between reasoning or regular chatbot models. Because the goal for OpenAI is to create the all-in-one solution that basically does all of the work for you. And that means everything from... Is this a Google search query? Is this an actual question I need to spend some time thinking about? Should I initiate agent? Should I run a deep research report? And so basically the model will be the one to decide which tools you should use. If I go to the model and I say, hey, uh, I, I love Sun Life Organic Smoothies. By the way, if you're not familiar with Sun Life Organics, <laughs> unbelievable how good it is. Uh, they're in like California, New York, Florida, Texas. Incredible, anyways. I love Sun Life Organic Smoothies. I need an exact recipe for how to uh, recreate the, it's called the billion dollar smoothie that I like. And instead of me going to select agent and saying, hey agent, I need you to go search this. I need you to create a list and then I need you to create a document that will allow me to recreate this. It will initiate agent on its own. And so we're looking at more of a, an all-in-one solution that just automatically knows what's best for us and what models should be turned on and which ways it should initiate. Now, as of about 30 minutes ago, it just leaked that the three new GPT-5 models have uh, been named. And so there's five. I don't know if they're going to keep the GPT or if they're going to drop it and just call it maybe chat five, chat GPT-5, we'll see. There is five mini which we've seen a lot of the mini series in the past, so that's not necessarily new. And then there's five nano. So as we know, the mini series is incredible for coding at cheap cost. You don't have to use as many tokens, the, the context windows are still really strong, and you don't have to pay near as much to get basically top model level output. So you know, if you're coding today, you're not gonna go use O3 Pro unless it's just some super complex thing that you're trying to solve, a very specific complex use case. You're gonna use O4 Mini or O4 Mini High or you know Gemini 2.5 Flash or you know so on and so forth. Claude, obviously. Now, Nano should be really interesting. Uh, I'm interested to see what the difference in Mini and Nano is gonna be because you know I think this is this makes a lot more sense too as a naming convention. What it probably is gonna be is the same thing as there's O4 Mini and then there's O4 Mini High. And so maybe O4 Mini High is just gonna be five Mini. And O4 Mini Regular is just gonna be the Nano version. That seems like a much better naming convention to me than the uh, previous naming conventions. But what I'm personally so excited about is number one, the uh, the parameter window is gonna get dramatically increased, which it always does with the new model. And so that should be really exciting. I'm expecting the context window to be larger. And as a result, I'm hoping the memory will be a little bit better because you know the memory on ChatGPT is better than any of the other models in my opinion so far. Uh, the problem is that it's not perfect, right? So it might not perfectly remember a conversation we had three months ago. It might forget the context if we weren't really deep. And, and you know, another thing that, that happens to these models, and this happens on every single model, is the deeper you get into a conversation, the less effective the model is. So I find myself constantly creating new chats and new chats so I can get the best output from the model, but then you lose the context from that previous conversation. So I'm expecting this part to improve a lot with GPT-5. You know, I can be 20 messages deep with GPT-5 and I should be getting really good output and really good feedback, or at least that's, that's my hope, right? Another thing that I think you can expect to see is a much better coding model with GPT-5. I think it's gonna be better than Anthropic's best model. And you know, this is like the one thing that Anthropic had on OpenAI is their coding models were top of the world. They're the best in the market. And 
up until this point, no one's really been able to compete with them. Well, I'm predicting that OpenAI is about to release a coding model that's gonna be much better. And part of the reason for this was the development of AI coding has come along so strongly since the four model was released that it wasn't really an emphasis, I think, when they were building that model. But with this one, I think it's gonna be a huge emphasis. I'm also extremely excited to see the uh, creative writing and just like the creative aspects of GPT-5 because in my experience as someone, I, I'm a marketer, I run a business, you know, I'm really interested in how far AI can go and helping us improve the creative side of either a business offer or a VSL sales letter, a writing copy for a web page, writing copy for a social media posts, etc. Up until this point, it's not been great. You know, we, we all know about the M dashes, which I think might still be a problem based on a leak that Sam Altman put up. You know, he posted a reply from GPT-5 and it had some pretty serious M dashes in there. We, we don't like that. Uh, but I do think it's gonna sound a lot more human. And so that should be really interesting as well, right? Because what happens when AI is actually able to really mimic human writing and is able to mimic your writing even and, and your tone of voice and how you sound. So the creative aspect is something I'm really excited for, but all in all, it's kind of like the, the rising tide lifts all boats, I believe is the saying. And with GPT-5, we should expect everything to rise, right? Everything from, from reasoning capabilities to being able to think way deeper about hard, complex problems, whether it's business, physics, science, et cetera, to the uh, just actual search capabilities, to the creative writing, to the coding, it should all rise with GPT-5. and. I think that this is gonna be the best model in the world by a long shot. And you know what? A little bit of a controversial, controversial opinion. It's not to me, but to others it is. O3 Pro is the best model in the world, right? So you've had all these new shipments, Grok 4, Opus 4, uh, Gemini 2.5. By the way, I think Gemini 3 is about to be coming out. I'm interested to see that. To me, Google's number two in this race so far. But O3 is the best model in the world for sure. And no one's caught up to it yet. And so I'm expecting this to be another leap forward. And you got to think about this. This is table stakes for OpenAI because they are playing the model game. Anthropic is really focused on B2B revenue. Google has 10,000 streams of income. <laughs> um, you know, Grok and XAI, they have proprietary data. They're going to be paired with Tesla. There's a lot of stuff going on there. Chad GPT has to win on the model front. And if they don't win on the model front, they're in a huge... I mean, they're basically screwed. Like if they don't win in the model front, I don't know what they're gonna win in. So it is important that this model is the best in the world by a long shot. And I think it will be. We should be getting GPT-5 today or tomorrow at the very latest. I'm curious to know what your excitement is. What are you excited about? What features, what rumors, what leaks? What are your predictions? What questions do you have? And rest assured that once GPT-5 drops, I'm gonna be creating a video for you guys explaining exactly how to get the best, the best output, regardless of if you're using with code, creative writing, et cetera. So stay tuned for that. Make sure you subscribe, leave a comment, and I look forward to revisiting this in about 24 to 48 hours.